Hello Chaos Gang and welcome back to my bullshit, my name is Sybil and today we are gonna hop back into some Dream Daddy. Last time we left off we just made an arch nemesis and we started to fall for Craig but quickly realized he might not be the one for us due to his tendencies to drink marinara sauce straight from the jar like an animal. Amanda and I flopped down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Aw, oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Well, hopefully we won't be alone for too long. Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Or something indeed. Yeah. A dog? Yeah. Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Me too, Amanda. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it, that's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. It sounds like she wants Brian, but you know who I don't want? Brian. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Ah Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design! Open it! Mm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. <sighs> yeah, it's just like my entire future, not a big deal. Yeah, Dodd. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but um... Okay. Owning a letter opener is such a dad thing to do. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah, 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 blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. No! They would be lucky to have you, sweetheart! Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. No, not my daughter's dream! Oh, sweetie. It's okay, I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I commend you for doing something out of your comfort zone, Amanda, and trying to show them what real art is. Anyways, I like that duck on the left corner back there. Pull Amanda in for a big ol' hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some of the school's gonna want to snatch you up for sure. Imagine if you don't get into college and that your dad just raps at you. Yeah, I know it's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? I'm fine, really. She's not fine. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So, you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. That's okay, man. We're gonna go find a sleepover of our own, if you know what I mean. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already had plans tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans! I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Gotta attend the union meeting. <laughs> I'm going clubbing. Attending the union meeting feels the most dad. Bosman's been riding us pearls too hard. It's time to rise up for our rights. Huh? Dad, you're not gonna invite me to the riot? I'm sorry, sweetie. It's an honest day's work for an honest day's riot. I'm just kidding. I actually going to stay home and finish unpacking. Well, we're supposed to leave, go to bed, go out and watch the game? Let's go watch the game. Nice. Hmm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. The game on TV at somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna go do drugs, commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Um, no, that sounds like the correct crowd. Dad. Wait, I am dad. That sounds like the wrong crowd child of mine. Amanda shrugs. She would. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Mm. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. You never know. I give her a pat on the head. Still thinking about Maxwell the dog. Have fun with your uh, sports. Are you being sarcastic? Uh. No, making fun of sports is played out. <laughs> All right, then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Mm. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Is your English teacher a hot dad? Perchance? Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Perhaps a hot dad? Yep, totally remember it. I'll, I'll be there. I hope they have a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda has such sweet friends, even if I can never remember their names. Just as I'm heading towards my room, the doorbell rings. 
who's at the door. Who could possibly need anything from me right now? Do they know what time it is? I was just about to head out. I walk over to the door and open it. I don't, I don't know what voice to give this person yet. Hello? A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies and abs. Hello? Hi! Uh, I know it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies, and I just can't have these in the house, or I'll, I'll eat them all. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. This man goes to church every Sunday. Look at that fit. He goes sailing on Saturdays, church on Sundays, and to his CEO office job for the weekdays. Oh, yeah, hi, I'm Tom. That's what my name is. Smooth. Saw the moving van and thought I'd do the neighborly thing and bring you some. My daughter, Christy, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. This is about to turn into another Pokemon battle. Joseph leans in and whispers. Oh. I just got moaned in the ear. Between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Uh, <laughs> we both share a laugh, kids, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Get out of here, sweetie. Daddy's trying to get laid. Amanda pokes her head out of her room and then immediately hones it on the cookies. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Daddy blocked by her own daughter. Well, thanks for the cookies. Lord of Arabia. <laughs> disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Hmm. Children in general are just... I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh, I, I'm then... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Why is he cronk? Oh, right. The poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met. My social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. This isn't the first one you met. What? Uh, yeah, okay. Is the Mrs. around? Why, in fact, he's dead, actually. Fuck. Mr. Actually, and there. No, not anymore. He, uh, died. died. Oh, uh, I'm sorry for your loss. See, now we've both made a fatal mistakes in this first conversation. Joseph! No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. At least now it's equal playing field. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door, opening it. I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Imagine if he actually just left. <laughs> He's like, can you close the door real quick? And we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Five minutes later, ten minutes later, we're still just standing there waiting. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. Saved it. <laughs> we shake hands to seal the deal. And then we shake penises. Well, neighbor, I'll let you get to bed. See you at 3 p.m. on Saturday. But also, do you mind if I also get into bed in your bed? <laughs> sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but... Stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in uh, all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister of the church down the street. I told you! Okay, I said he was a CEO, but I said he goes to church every Sunday. Bite me. I'm so good at this. Getting a little too excited about getting one thing right that was very obvious from his character. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> you look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. He's winking. This, this man is winking at me. And with that, Joseph's gone. You seem nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I have ever seen. I should be taking notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Mm. They're gone. Sorry. Yes. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway. That must helped. Right. Well, kiddo, I'm gonna go catch the game. Capitalized. Have fun, Dad! Minimize eating fried foods, candy, and sweets. How about you don't shame me when I'm trying to play a fun game? Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone, so I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance, could it be? 
A big, burned-out neon sign hangs above tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. Are we gonna meet Jim or Kim? The bar is small, dimly lit. The crack of cool, 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 what the crack of cool ball? No, nope. fuck, still messed up. The crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I slightly cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Sounds like he just went to Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> I like the boar head. Several people in the bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team? all in good fun. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. No, 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 no. Dads. Dad on dad. What are we doing? Dad on You know what I'm here for, game. Get this woman out of my- Is that a cross necklace? Is this game just full of Christians? Hey, sailor. Oh, uh, hello. Uh Good to see you fresh and eaten here. I'm Mary. Come here often? Uh, no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Tom, by the way. Mm. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Hey, oh, I love that team, and also I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. I don't even have to make the jokes. She's gonna make them for me. You can't one-up me on my own YouTube video. <laughs> I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh... Buy a gala drink? No. <laughs> uh, maybe some other time. Ugh. Suit yourself, sailor. Sorry, she was giving me weirdo vibes. I wanna- I am uncomfortable enough in this game to where I want to leave the bar now. <laughs> Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another bear. The game has gotten close in term of points, a little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Here we go! Go team! Go team, go team. I don't know, we gotta see him first. He sits alone, brooding over a beer and keeping an eye on the game. Oh, he is trouble. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win slash loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours off, beating your team off. The conversation ends there and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He emotions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. We almost bought a drink for a woman and now we're having a man buy us one. That's what's up. The name's Robert. <laughs> Thanks, I'm Tom. Hey. You must be, uh, new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Robert chuckles. She's a peach. Well, you pick the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs the place? Oh. No. That, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. I want to see Neil. I want to see Neil. Hey. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Oh, okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. You like shots? I like shots. I love shots. Ooh, shots fired. I don't like them. I love shots. He didn't give us the penises. I mean the... the... eggplants. <laughs> Thank God. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Huh. Here's to your health. We take those shots, the whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Tom, this guy is out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Compliment his cool leather jacket, compliment his rugged good looks, compliment his hand tattoo. Cause I'd like to know more about those hands. Like your tattoo, what does it mean? I don't think he liked that, guys. It's a reminder. 
and wait for him to elaborate, but it seems like he's done talking. Man, this guy is mysterious. And cool. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicked me out of the house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. I don't want him to get the bad one again. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm kind of scared now. My daughter, we'll be honest. Not like forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Family type, huh? Single dad. Hmm. He gets up. Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. Does that mean he's gonna go do drugs? Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. <laughs> I guess so. I would guess he doesn't by this point. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. So. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? Me too. Uh, we just finished unpacking today. Great place to be, good neighbors, well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. Stop, and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Tom. So, are we doing this or what? What? You know, do you want to come inside or not? I mean, I do want to come inside. <laughs> a wave of realization rushes over me, I blush. Lay it on smooth, smile and nod, no thank you. I don't know, I mean, I'll, but there's Craig, there's Brian, like what does it mean if we just- I don't know! I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Oh my god, decision-based games are hard for somebody who does not know how to make decisions. Fuck it. Laid on smooth. Well, I don't see why not. That sounded smoother in my head. Let's do it. I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I- I feel like I'm on Wattpad. It's what I assume is his bedroom, but it's so dark, I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. He kisses me again, I can hear him shuffling his jacket off, I clumsily take off mine too, his hands roam down my chest, and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I feel like I'm invading space right now, I didn't know this game got graphic. I, uh, I don't normally do this. Do you want to stop? Whoa, 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 we're gonna say yes. I do kind of want to see what happens if I keep going, but actually I should probably get going. Robert steps back. All right, I think I'm gonna head home, uh, sorry. No, nah, it's cool. I got nervous, I got cold feet. I don't wanna commit to a daddy yet. There's so many daddies still to meet. I head home, my head still spinning with the anxiety of turning Robert down. The sight of the couch helps me compartmentalize though, and before I know it, I'm having dreams about my teeth falling out. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early birds still wanna- Oh my god, it's Craig! Rise and shine, early birds still wanna work out? This is Craig, by the way. Huh, <laughs> smiling piss. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Whoops, you must have winked back out. Checked my phone again. Hey bud, still wanna get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up that track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I wanna do right now is work out, but it is Craig. I do wanna catch up. Go to the gym. Hey my man, I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing! Meet me at the gym! I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw up my blanket and- Hey, wait, I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, and head out. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. It got a little hot and heavy. Got a little crazy and wild, and I feel like we all kind of went on a full date with this man at the bar. So when we return, we will go to the gym with Craig and see if we can get past his marinara eating ways. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. So it looks like there's one, two, three daddies we haven't met. Four, wait, was that a goth daddy at the- There's a goth daddy. There's a goth daddy. I repeat, there is a goth daddy. I, there's also Robert, but he, but he seems a little scarier. <laughs>